Hi, and welcome to the IYNA's Neuroscience Career Spotlight Series. Today I'll be discussing the career of science writing and show you possible paths to becoming a science writer. Do you enjoy writing and telling stories? Do you want a way to combine your interest in writing with your scientific study? If so, science writing may be something for you to consider. A science writer can utilize storytelling to write about new discoveries and developments for the general public. In order to do this, one should be able to understand complex scientific information, theories, and practices, and have the ability to translate complex science into accurate language that the public can understand. Science writers can create scientific news articles and features for business publications such as Science Magazine or Wired. Science writers at universities may write press releases to garner media coverage to a university's research. For example, this press release allowed for research done by the University of Leicester on bag salads to generate press coverage to highlight the need for growers to maintain high food safety standards. Other science writers may choose to go the freelance route and write for multiple news outlets on contract work. If you're in high school with plans of becoming a science writer, majoring in journalism and a minor, or possibly a dual major in a science, and then a master's degree in science journalism may be a path to look into. Along with that, writing for the school paper and doing internships or supplements to consider. But, if you're already an undergraduate student who has recently found interest in science writing, there are still some things you can do to start getting into science writing. One important thing to start doing if you think you are interested in science writing is to start writing. Create a science blog either on a personal website linked to your name or on a blog site like Medium. Later on, if your writing starts gaining traction, you can pitch stories for online magazines or publications. Other things you can do include finding internships at science magazines, writing for a science organization, like the IYNA, and reaching out to your college to see if you can work on their science section of their, of their paper. If you'd like to learn about getting into writing, there are a plethora of resources on the internet, but you can check out some good ones linked in the description below. The first thing you can do is immerse yourself into the science writing world. Some publications you could follow include NeuroPlus Science, a medium publication that boasts primarily on the human brain, human potential, and self-improvement. Nautilus, a magazine covering big picture science by reporting on a single monthly topic from multiple perspectives. The Neuroethics Blog, hosted by the Neuroethics Program at Emory University and explores discussion and critiques of topics in neuroethics, such as notions about free will, autonomy, the nature of disease, the mind, and what it means to be human. Neuroscience News is an independent science news website that focuses mainly on neuroscience and other cognitive sciences. Finally, The Open Notebook is a nonprofit organization that provides tools and resources to help science, environmental, and health journalists sharpen their skills with story behind the story interviews, reported features on craft, annotations, profiles, and advice column, a database of successful news and feature pitches, and more. The Open Notebook also has a great guide for getting started in science journalism. You can check that out in the description below. Some publications you can pitch your stories to include NeuroPlus Science, Snippet, and New Scientist. Keep in mind, NeuroPlus Science only publishes articles by writers who have scientific knowledge, particularly in neuroscience, but they can be open to other fields as well. Snippet is another medium publication that looks for stories with understandability, perspective, and fun in any topic. New Scientist is a website containing science and technology stories from around the world that aims to intrigue, entertain, and inform the widest possible audience, from those with heavy scientific knowledge to people with no science background at all. Check out their guide for freelancers if you are thinking of submitting a story to them, and you can check out the description below for guidelines to submitting any of the mentioned publications. The second step is to be active, attend conferences and other events to network other current or aspiring science writers, search for fellowships and apply for internships to gain valuable experience. Make a Twitter and follow science writers. Basically, engage in the community. Science writing gives the general public access to new research and developments in science. For those interested in writing in science, this may be a fulfilling career. Anyways, that's it for now. Leave a like if you found this video helpful and leave a comment with more careers you would like us to look into. Check out the description box for more information and subscribe to stay updated with new neuroscience videos. Until next time, bye.